So hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing really good. It's a day in the life. I thought I'd do a little day in the life today. It is, oh my God, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, March the 26th. Eclipse season, spring equinox has been. Um, it was so cool um, outside because we live right, as you can see from some of my clips, we live like dead next to the park. And on Sunday evening, um, I'll show you in a minute because you can see where the black bit is. They were doing, there was a big bonfire going on. I could see these men in high-vis jackets like building this bonfire in the park. They lit the bonfire and then like just so many people were swarming towards it. It's like, what's going on? What's, why are people like swarming to look at a bonfire? You know, there was no fireworks or anything like that. Anyway, I thought, I've got to Google this, got to Google this. Couldn't find anything. I was, like, putting in, like, the name of my town and everything, and nothing was coming up. And it's got to be something. It turns out it's a tradition, one of the traditions of the spring equinox to do a bonfire. So it's, like, getting rid of, like, old energy. And I'm guessing people were throwing things in the bonfire. I don't know. Um, but it was really cool to have a spring equinox bonfire right outside the house. It was massive. Um, so that's really cool. I didn't know that. So I guess it's the same as like doing like we have the term spring cleaning. So it's like the same as like old energy, spring cleaning our old energy, um, bringing in the light of spring, new, you know, lighter days, lighter nights, etc. So it was really cool. I'll show you actually, I'll show you the bit where it was if you can see the, because obviously it's burnt all the grass. See so if I open the doors over there you can see it was just there there's a great big round circuit of black where it's burnt the grass but you know obviously they got the council's permission it was it was really cool but there was just people swarming towards it so i'm downstairs now it's about it is almost 10 past seven um I've got quite a bit to do today. I thought I would bring you along with me. Um, I've got a list going on. I haven't got a, um, a list on my phone or written down. The list is in my head. Um, there's a lot of things I need to get done this week because, here's Atticus, you break up from school on Thursday, don't you? Atticus breaks up from school, as I'm sure a lot of kids do, on P. Thursday. PE today. PE today. Um, he breaks up on Thursday for the Easter holidays. And, it's um, like, and I've got quite a while off. You've got... It's like, I think it's two weeks, four days, yeah. two weeks, three days. Yeah, you've got quite a weeks, while off. It's about two, 17, 18 days. That's right. And during the Easter holidays, well, at the end of the Easter holidays, it's your birthday. It's yeah. your 10th birthday, isn't it? Yeah. So I need to get all sorted um, for Atticus's birthday. I want to get all his presents done and wrapped and everything ordered the balloons yesterday so obviously that's all done before he breaks up so he's decided you want money off me don't you mm. and then some surprises so today I, I, i'd rather have money than go out at any time i want to that's right like say on any weekends and get something rather than yeah that's right so i'm giving him some money and then um he wants some surprises and i haven't had to buy you surprises for quite a while for because about you, two years three years well you chose what you wanted didn't you for christmas you wanted to choose so this time i've got to buy surprises and i keep thinking what can i get him what can i get him it's really tricky you're at that age mm. you've got more or less everything <laughs> and it's really tricky so i need to try and find him some surprises today um, get them wrapped and everything before he breaks up. Also during the Easter holidays, um, we are off to Cornwall. So excited. We are going to St Ives. For a week. For a whole week. We're really excited. Um, I haven't been to Five Cornwall, St Ives. It's, it's a long drive. I thought the drive so is nice. so long from where we are. The journey um, to St Ives is five and a half hours. So I thought we need to go for quite a long period like a of whole time. Week. Yeah, not just like three or four days to sort of make the drive worthwhile, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so I need to get prepped for that as much as I can. I can get some stuff. I don't need to get it all today, um, but I'm going to go to Primark. Um, I'm going to get some bits from there, what we will need. I mean, it's not going to be, it's not going to be hot by any means. And it's not, not going to be freezing really cold. cold. It's going to be like... Medium. I think it's going to be like between, you know, 10 15 and 20. 12, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be... Maybe even 20. I don't think, it's not going to be freezing, but then you always get that 
like you know coastal air don't you um so there's a few bits i need to get from primark but i think um i'll do a primark haul but i think that'll be my next video that's what i'm thinking i'll just do a dedicated primark haul for you of what um. i get so of course i will take you along to cornwall with us for the week i'm really excited because i and haven't been think too. i think probably i'll do too i haven't been to st ives the last time i went to st ives i think i was 20. about 26 no it was way before 22. i had anna it was like yeah 21 22 probably younger and i can still picture like the little streets of st ives and i've booked us a lovely little um it's like a loft apartment and it's got its own little garden um right in the center of st ives so i am so so excited um so i'm going to eat lots of cornish pasties we're going to go on lots of long walks and of course i will take you along with us back to today and my list of things to do so you're going to have your breakfast in a minute and have wheat toast going to have some wheat toast so yeah get on with today do a little outfit of the day for you again comfort is key i've got on we'll start at the bottom i've got on some like black they're trousers they're not leggings really they're trousers um a slight flare at the bottom these were from h&m underneath i have got a black rib top on from new look and then i've got this white well it's cream it's like an off-white denim shirt um I thought it was very different. It's new look, but it's via ASOS. I sort of wish it's a 12 because I, I thought, oh, it'll be quite oversized, but it's not quite as oversized as I would like. So I wish I'd got it in a 14, but it's fine. Um, I really like this. I thought it's a bit different. I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this um, in transitioning, you know, because it's not super warm yet, is it? Um, although I have put a thermal vest on again and I'm a bit hot. <laughs> um, but I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this so I can have it open with like different tops underneath with jeans really really like this probably if I show you we've got over here you can see the colour yeah you can see the colour a bit more it's like a cream off white really really like this comfy um, I think I'm going to wear my green sambas um, and get all their errands done So I've arrived at Richton Lakes. The sun is out. It's a gorgeous day. As I was driving, I was thinking, why the hell, Julie, have you got four layers on? But more than that, why have you got a thermal vest on? I think it's because I get up so early. So when I get up, it's a bit chilly. But it's like, it's going to be 13 degrees. It's a gorgeous day. It's a gorgeous day. Um, but yeah, this coat's thin, so it's fine. I could take my coat off, can't I? But yeah. Anyway, we are here. I am in desperate need of a coffee. Um, I'm going to go to Bewitched over there and get my um, normal flat white. Um, so, Richland Lakes. Do you know what? I always come here. This is really the shopping centre I come to. I hardly ever go Milton Keynes now. I need to go Milton Keynes. I need to go Milton Keynes. I haven't been for so long. Um, but I think this is just so handy. It's like five minutes down the road. And it's like, just get what I need and then just go home. Um... I'm not liking to, I still like to like have a browse around the shops and stuff, but I'm certainly not into it as much as I used to be, if that makes sense. Um, I just sort of rather get what I need and then get home. Sign of uh, getting older, that may be. So, as I look across here, I see boots from Boots. I need to get my Liz Earl Boost Tonic. I have the tiniest bit left, probably enough for tomorrow morning. Do you know what? With the Lizelle Boost Tonic, Tonic Boost, Tonic Boost, um, I'll switch up my face wash and I'll switch up my moisturisers, but that is one thing that I won't ever switch up. That's something I won't sort of compromise on because I just love how that feels when I cleanse my face in the morning and then I sweep the Tonic Boost over my skin. Because I get up so early, it is so refreshing and it really, really wakes my skin up and it's how it makes my skin feel so that is one product i can't do without i try and get it when it's on offer um they do have it on 10 uh, uh, 10 pound tuesdays or something sometimes um but it's normally about 16 pounds it's not the cheapest thing um but it feels good on my skin it is worth every penny to me so i need anyway there's it's a long story telling you that i need to go and get some of tonic boost because they don't sell it in my town they only sell the little travel size ones which i do get sometimes to take away with me if i'm going away for like a couple of days um they're like six pound for the little ones but they don't sell the full size ones 
where my lips are, I'll get that from there. Um, Primark, I'm gonna look in there for, God, it's gone super dark, but it's not, it's, there you go. Is that better? There you go. Um, I'm gonna go Primark. I'm gonna get some bits that I think we need for Cornwall, not a great deal, um, but a few bits. And I think, as I said, I will do a Primark haul in a separate video. That's the plan. Um, then I'm gonna, I'll put the bag back in the car because it's normally a big bag from Primark, isn't it? And then I'll walk up to, I'm gonna look in, I'm gonna have a look in the works. Magazine Heaven, it's called up here. They have some good little like toys and sort of pop figure -y type. I just don't know what to get out of because as I was saying, God, it's gone dark again. Um, getting some surprises. Um, I'll have a look while I'm here in them shops up there. Um, see if I can find any little bits there. If not, it's going to be B and M. Um, then when I get back to Wellingborough, I need to pop to Aldi. I used my last tea bag just before I came out. My last tea bag in the house. There you go. So I need to get um, some tea bags. I need a light bulb for the kitchen. Uh, and I need some, I will need some washing detergent, so I'm going to get some more of that. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. I just want to try and get everything done before Ashka's breaks up because it's, you know, then I can just focus on him, spending time with him, um, you know, so that's the plan. Let's go to which to Come into Boots, they've actually got no um, tonic boost. No, I'm gonna ask, but if not, I think I'm gonna have to get this one. Mind you, is that the. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get that one. Smooth and glow. I think we might have to go for this one. Same sort of thing, I think. Smooth and glow, exfoliating tonic, yeah, same sort of thing. A bit more expensive though, £22. Mm. I'm gonna ask first. to sit in the shade a minute. I needed shade. Unbelievable. Got another coffee. Um, I am sweating. I'm absolutely sweating. Such a lovely day though. First day of the year walking around with no coat. Um, so I just went into H&M. Got Atticus a spring coat for school because obviously it's going to be too warm when he goes back after Easter for his big winter coat. Um, got him a cap and a t-shirt from there. That was good because it was 20% off all kids. Um, everything all kids 20% off so that was good um, so I am going to head up the top now um, I did go in next because I thought they had a sale on but there was no sale items there so um, I'm going to head up the top now look for some surprises for Atticus um, so yeah then I'm going to head back to Wellingborough it's now 20 past 11 I've been here a long while so I'm home finally the day has just flew by. Pop to Aldi. I'll do your little Aldi haul. The thing I went in for, because as I mentioned, I used my last tea bag this morning. I've already opened them and made myself one. Tea bags. Bab tea bags from Town 39. We got some red ruby strawberries. We got, oh my god, it's so warm. <laughs> having a thermal vest on doesn't help. Um, we got a pack of seedless mixed grapes. We got for my lunch, a tuna and sweet corn sandwich, which I'm gonna have in a minute because I'm very hungry. We got two packs of toilet wipes. We got, now I thought I'd try this, right? Because I've heard how good this is meant to be and it's certainly a lot cheaper, I think. Don't quote me on it, but I think it was like £2.29, which is cheaper, isn't it? Normally it's what, £5? Five, pound? five, five to £6? Pound. And I've heard it's just as good. So I am going to give this a go because I get through so much laundry detergent, you know, and save them pennies where you can, you know? I'll report back. Let me know if you use the Aldi laundry detergent. I can smell it. It smells really good, actually. Let's pop it and give it a sniff. It smells really good. 
So it's basically a copy of, I guess, Purcell. I'm guessing by the colour. So we'll see how we get on. Um, we've got standard coffee beans. I'm down to my last pack. We've got smooth peanut butter. This peanut butter is great and I'm almost out of it and I love peanut butter. Got that. We got a six pack. Is there six? No, there's 12. No, there's six double rolls. Six double rolls of toilet bowl. And then we have the things that aren't food because, you know, Aldi, Little Isle. Oh my God, this is to go in here. I'm going to put it up on my um, shelf just up there. They've got a range of, um, like bakery like parisian bakery candles and diffusers i really don't need another candle um but i thought i'll get i'll try the diffuser in here now i smelt the coffee cream coffee creme coffee cream um candle and if you're a fan of coffee it's just amazing so i got the diffuser in coffee cream they also had now i'm sure they had um Oh God, mine's gone blank as usual, eh? Um, what are they called? Macaroons. They had a pink macaroon and then they had a green pistachio, um, and some of which was quite nice, but I thought I'd just get one for in here. So hopefully that's gonna smell as good as the candle. I think they're two pound 29. And then last of all, I got these for the garden. Um, when I've had my lunch, I'll show you actually, because a couple of weekends ago I did tidy the garden um i've yet to start planting but it's tidy the grass was cut it was de-weeded um, and i thought these were nice i did have along one of um the fences for like beigey color hang on the fence pots um they've gone really really rusty and just didn't look good after the winter um so i got two of these so they're the wicker and i thought they're gonna look Whoops. they're going to look nice because this is the same colour as the shed outside um, so these were 3 99 each they're pretty big pretty big um, so I will obviously get planting in them in a month or so so they're going to look nice with some pansies in um, or trailing trailing flowers um, so I thought a couple I actually got the last two of them yeah 3 99 each which I thought were a good price so that was everything I got from Aldi. Um, so I'm gonna have my tuna sandwich with a packet of crisps um, and then I'll show you the garden. It's tidy. I'm shocked. I've just opened a pack of these. I got a multi-pack the other day. I've literally had, I've had two out of the packet. Look how many are in this packet. It's terrible. Is it because it's a multi-pack that they don't put as many in? There, you can see the crisp come to there. So I will show you the garden. Look at that sun. Look. Um I'll take you outside. So sunny. So it looks a lot tidier than it did. I need to start planting. The grass is so green. It's almost luminous. Um, so yeah, obviously the grass has been cut. Um, the weeded all along here. Got some pretty flowers coming out of this bud. It's growing up nicely there. And obviously we've got the, we've got the spring pansies. Um, go down here, see I've de-weeded, Christmas tree growing, um, <laughs> they've definitely had it, they need to come up, these were the, I can't say it, hydrogenas, I think I need to replant some new ones, they've had it, I don't think they're going to come back, um, but this gets all little white flowers all over it, um, leaves coming back on that, de-weeded all of this, these will turn purple, or little purple flowers that'll get little white flowers on it i need to find something to go there i'm going to put the things what i showed you the basket things from aldi on this fence so yeah a lot lot tidier and then i sorted the greenhouse out um 
have some pots ready to go. They were still there from last year. We just got rid of all the old stuff that was in there. And then these are the seeds I need to plant. So I got some um, tomato, strawberry. I thought I'll have a go at growing some onions. Spring onions. And pick out guess that where has the time gone it's now 23 um so when i've picked atticus up the plan is we're going over to see my mum spend some time with mum um we've got a horrible histories game to take over we all love playing this together it's so good because obviously atticus little historian mum likes the questions mum knows quite a bit of her history so um, it's a good little game for us to play so taking that over um, might have something to eat over there. Um, then we will come home. I'm starting to flag. <laughs> I'm really starting to flag. Had a bit of a power nap, like literally probably 15, 20 minutes. But they say, don't they, that's the best amount of time to have. If you have longer than that, then um, you feel worse. Um, so, yeah. It looks like it's actually going to rain. It's still so mild. Thermal vest still on. Um, but it does look like it's going to rain. I was just sitting outside because they've cut the grass in the park. And is there anything better than the smell of cut grass? Freshly cut grass. So nice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and get Atticus. Um, still feel like I've got quite a bit to do before... Um, he breaks up on Thursday. Um, he's also got parents' evening. Well, they call it child. What do they call it now? Not parents. Not parents. It learning conference or something. Now they call it. Um, he's got that on Thursday also. Um, so I still feel like I've got quite a bit left to do. But I will. I will get it all done. Let's just go get Atticus. So mum picked me up from school and we're going to get the Costa, we're going over Nanny, so yeah, bye! Hello, it's Anna. She's just Hello. informed us she's coming home for Easter, aren't you, darling? Loving it. <laughs> We are home, it is now, it's quarter to eight. I'm gonna end this vlog now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed um, seeing me do my errands, try and get bits done. I think Atticus is gonna come down now and say bye. Are you Atticus? Yeah. Come and say bye then, darling. Come and say bye. Bye, guys. Say see you soon. See you soon. Bye. bye. Hope you enjoyed, bye. bye.